All right, we're back with author and podcaster and now tea creator, Jay Shetty. And we have some questions from the audience. Uh, Krista Wyatt, uh, where is Krista? Hi. Hey, Krista. What is your question, Krista? Um, I have three daughters. Um, two are in high school, one's in college. Three lovely girls. And um, how do I help them understand that social media is not always authentic or an accurate representation of other people's lives? What they're seeing on there is not a great place to go to for self-esteem or to, you know, the comparison is, is always a problem too. Yeah, so this is a really painful truth, but often I find that our parents aren't going to be the people that help us understand that. And the people that are going to help us understand that is by hearing people who have had these incredible experiences or have shared their highlight reel on Instagram, but then when you catch them in a deep moment, in a deep interview, they sometimes reveal what's really going on behind the scenes. And I think showing them that, I think showing younger generations these stories, these vulnerable moments that people have sharing the real journey behind the scenes, if they hear it from the people that they look up to, that's gonna have a deep impact on them. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. And uh, turns out Daniel, who I spoke to earlier, has a question. Hi, Daniel. Hi, how's it going, guys? Hey, Daniel, you're married to the school teacher, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so my question for you is, when trying to become more successful, what are some tools that you would recommend to make sure that you don't lose your self-identity in the process? So I recently interviewed Bob Proctor and he said something amazing to me. He said that money just makes you more of who you already are. And that really stayed with me because what I realized is that if you do a self-practice every day of taking an audit or an inventory of your intentions, so every day, every week, sit down and ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? If the reason is love, purpose, family, service, big check, keep doing it, keep nurturing it. But if the answer is greed, revenge, comparison, envy, that's a weed, you wanna pull that out. And so reflecting on that, but recognizing that your success will only make you more of who already who you are. So if you're someone who wants to do good in the world, if you wanna have a positive impact on people, the more successful you become, you're gonna pass that on. I'm excited to see that happen for you. Thank you. Fantastic. This is um, Melanie Saifana. Saifana? Melanie? Saifan. Saifan, hi. There you go. Hi, AJ. So my question is, how do you become a leader when your temperament is being a follower? So there's a beautiful thought which comes from the Stoic Aristotle. He said that if you can't be a good follower, you can never be a good leader. And so actually the temperament of a follower is inherent in being a good leader. Mm -hmm. Because as a follower, you know what people need, mm -hmm. what people are looking for, what inspiration they need, what motivation they need, what their concerns are, what their interests are. And so when you become a leader, just don't forget all of that that you knew as a follower. And I think that's the biggest mistake. Leaders can forget what they did when they were followers, mm -hmm. but that's your greatest strength, not your weakness. Fantastic. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> All right, to learn more about Sama and join Jay and Roddy's Tea Club, you can go to samatea.com. We'll be right back.